Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for everything innovation. I'm your host, Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special 2020 reunion episode. What is that? That's when I had on a guest in the past, and I liked them so much, I had to invite them right on back. So today's guest is Sam Therese. He's president and CEO over at Alverno Laboratories. Sam, welcome back to the show. Well, thanks, Adam. I'm thrilled to be back. I think it's, it seems like just a little while ago that I was on the phone with you, and but it's uh, a few months have passed, and I'm looking forward to uh, another lively discussion. Oh, man, happy 2020, <laughs> new year, new decade, and I'm excited to get into what Alverno's up to, and also, um, you know, we're going to talk about highlights of expanding technology, so all great stuff there, but before we do that, I don't want to assume that our new listeners caught your first episode, so let's just start out with you talking a little bit more about sure. what you're doing over at Alverno Laboratories, please. Yeah, so uh, as a member from Alverno Laboratories, or we like to call it just simply Alverno. Uh, and, and we're in that kind of unique space in healthcare that, where we kind of live a little bit behind the scenes, but, you know, we're the folks down in the laboratory that are, that are doing all the tests that are helping physicians and other caregivers really, uh, determine kind of the diagnosis and treatment of, um, uh, the patients they're seeing. So, um, you know, the, the list of things we do is, is never, never ending and probably the most, uh, of your audience who's ever had their blood drawn, Mm-hmm. Um, that's, you know, we're the folks that actually come and do that and actually then take those samples and get you those results that um, tell you what's going on with your health. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about um, expanding technologies and what Alverno is up to. So uh, where do you want to start? Well, I mean, I, I think let's talk a little bit. I mean, we're in this kind of changing world of healthcare, and so, um, you know, it's it's been a pretty dynamic environment over the last probably decade, uh, and you know you see that when we're all kind of or at least I did grew up with you know the little community hospital that you know was in our town or wherever we lived, and that's where we went um, to get all our care, and um, you know that's you know pretty much the environment of healthcare today. Um, those <clears throat> Uh, laboratories or those little hospitals don't really exist, but maybe part of very large kind of regional networks of hospitals with large systems. Uh, and Alverno's kind of function is like one of that, but we only do that in the laboratory space. So, you know, in addition to testing, we, we kind of own and operate uh, multiple hospital laboratories. Uh, and by doing that and kind of doing this in a regional way, we're, we're really able to focus our energy uh, on really developing and launching uh, new technologies and new testing to, to better support uh, the care needs of our uh, patients. Um, so some of those examples might include uh, some of the advancements we've done in an area called uh, digital pathology, uh, which is a rather difficult topic to explain, but Think about it in this way. You know, once upon a time, we all had cameras, and we took pictures, and we took that film to the drugstore or to the local photo mat, and we got those pictures developed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and nowadays, we take our, our phones, and we have instant pictures. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing in digital pathology is kind of making that same kind of leap, uh, where things were you know looked at on a glass slide under a microscope. Uh, now they're scanned by a very sophisticated uh, equipment, and we create a digital image that we can you know, basically beam to anywhere in the world uh, so we can get uh, information to all the experts no matter where they are. Uh, and some other things, um, you know, we've done a lot with infectious disease in terms of, you know, all those different, you know, uh, things that you take antibiotics for. Well, somebody has to determine what they are. So we've advanced uh, technology so that we're able to get those answers back to clinicians much quicker, uh, sometimes one to two days quicker. Uh, 
Uh, wow, which just, that I mean that equates to much better care. I mean, if you're on the other, if you've ever had to go to a mm-hmm. clinic or anything else to get um, whatever you know blood drawn or testing mm-hmm. or something else, and you used to have to wait like a long mm-hmm. time, one or two yep. days can mean um, a long time if there's some type of treatment or medication that needs to be um, prescribed, right? Oh, especially true in an infectious disease. I mean, yeah. it, it could be a matter of life and death. What I thought. Uh, so, you know, if you can get somebody on the correct antibiotics sooner, um, the odds of them uh, getting better uh, before the infection, you know, uh, moves to a much uh, more significant level greatly improves. So a uh, huge advantage. Um, uh, other things, you know, we're all fighting you know, the crisis with opioid testing. And so uh, as, a, as a regional lab, we're able to bring in technologies uh, to, let, to better determine, you know, what uh, potential drugs a person might be taking, not necessarily from an abuse perspective, but even kind of accidentally taking. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I used my story of my uh, was then 90 uh, plus old uh, mother. You know, and she had her little pill boxes, but you know, always kind of a little difficult when they when they know what they're doing, they kind of know what the pills do, and so they mm-hmm. they have those days where you know I feel this way, I might take an extra one, <laughs> or I might not take. So knowing what they're doing uh, is what we are able to do with the advanced drug testing we've brought into the market. And then there's you know the whole world of of oncology and and really understanding at the level of the gene and the DNA in terms of better to. Uh, determine what kinds of therapies uh, patients would use. So a lot of advancements in the last um, year uh, for Alverno. Man, I love this. And, I mean, some of the things I like, but I tell people this all the time. I mean, my, my vantage point of being a podcaster, I love talking to people that are doing um, advancements in the healthcare industry because I'm like, we're all going to need these one day at some point. Or if we don't need them, our loved one, our family, somebody's going to need it. And, like, it's huge, like, to have people doing these breakthroughs, like that one to two days of testing things to potentially save lives. I mean, that's huge. Uh, and, and I look at it as it gets better and better. I'm like, oh, man, what's next? I love it. Keep on, keep, keep on doing your work, Sam, because I might need you one day. I won't even know that I'm using you, but the, the hospital or whatever I have to go to will uh, will be using you on the back end. And um, one way or another, I'm, um, we all benefit from this cumulative effort of work that's going on in the healthcare space. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, you know, as being a little bit older, I, I maybe maybe I have an alternative motive of trying to do this for myself. <laughs> faster, a little bit faster, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you know, it is a, a correct statement. We all are going to need healthcare at some point, you know. That's awesome. So what, um, I mean, if what's the, and I, you have a lot going on, by the way, and you gave us a lot already, but I'm just going to push it a little further. What's that one thing that just excites you right now? Like that you're just like, man, this is the, this is the best. Um, I, this, this wakes me up in the morning because I know you have a passion for what you do. What's that one thing that just gets you, gets you fired up? Well, it's, you know, it's always very hard to come up with that, that one thing. But That's why I asked it. I'm I sorry. Know, it's I, a I really know it's tough, tough question. Sorry. I apologize. Not not easy podcast. I know. No, I, I've been doing this for so many decades, and it's you I know, know. on any given day it could be something new. But I, I think it's just that exciting fact that, you, you know, you realize that what you're doing and what your team of professionals are doing are, is really things that matter. Uh, mm-hmm. Things that have an impact, whether it's a, you know even a simple little modification to a test, or you know just adopting some sort of technology and knowing that and being able to tell people this is what we're doing that makes a difference. Um, and triggering enough, it's not necessarily not always about the the business side of it and, and the dollars and cents, but it's really about making a difference in, in patient's life. And if you know we can think of any one thing to do on any given day that kind of moves us forward as Alverno, um, you know, that's a really great day. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, Sam, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Alverno or to learn more, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, you know, in, in, in this day and age, it's always come to our website. So it's Alverno Labs, all one word, dot com. So A-L-V-E-R-N-O Labs dot com. And that will take you to our website, and you can um, find all the information and even some of the uh, the things and the advances that we've done are, are there on our website and our um, media. Um, 
also our phone number and, and, and anything else that you might want to know about Alvernos there. Fantastic. Well, hey, Sam, been awesome having you back on the show and uh, and catching up with you on this 2020 podcast family reunion, as I like to call it. Uh, so awesome having you back. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope you had a lot of fun listening to this. Hope you got a lot out of uh, out of Sam and my uh, talk. And uh, if you did, don't forget, subscribe. Leave me, a, leave me some comments. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters uh, Innovation, give that a subscribe and leave us some notes on this video. Let us know what you think about healthcare, healthcare innovations. Let's keep the conversation going. Love, love to hear from you. Um, and Sam, thanks again for coming on the show. Right. Thanks for having me, Adam. Always a pleasure. Looking forward to 2021 anniversary. <laughs>